Do you know what the famous Philadelphia Museum of Art, Duke Chapel, and these iconic Duke buildings all have in common? Would you believe they were all designed by the same man? Julian Abel was the architect and designer behind some of the nation's most notable buildings, including Duke University's West and East campuses. The first black student of the Department of Architecture at the University of Pennsylvania, Abel quickly rose to prominence as a young architect. Abel, a Philadelphia native, became a chief designer at the Horst Trumbauer architecture firm in Philadelphia and was commissioned to design homes and manors in the region and across the nation. One of Abel's most notable design opportunities came in the 1920s when James B. Duke commissioned the Trumbauer firm to design the new campus of Duke University in Durham, North Carolina. Having already made a name for himself, Abel was named chief designer for the project, including the university's most iconic landmark, Duke University Chapel. The beauty in Abel's artistry is felt today by chapel leaders like the Reverend Dr. Luke Powery. To know that the chief designer of West Campus and of the icon of the university <laughs> was a black architect is amazing. That from a man coming out of a cultural context and heritage, uh, one in which was deemed non-human, are also the source of this beauty and awe is such a gift, I hope, for the whole world. More gifts from Abel can be seen in his other Duke buildings he designed, including Lilly Library, Cameron Indoor Stadium, and Wallace Wade Stadium. Even with his immense success in designing much of Duke's campus, Jim Crow laws of the South prevented Abel from visiting campus to see his masterpieces come to life. Initially, much of Abel's work was completed under the name of the architecture firm where he worked. Over time, Abel did sign his name on a few pieces of his work, including his sketch of Cameron Indoor Stadium. Abel's name and his integral role in designing much of Duke remained in the shadows until 2017, when in honor of his contributions, Duke University named the heart of West Campus Abel Quad to bring his legacy to light. This is a man whose genius would not be denied and could not be denied. He was able to accomplish extraordinary things at a time in which people like him were not supposed to accomplish those things or were not even given opportunities. That genius is here for everyone to see and a lot of the sort of iconic imagery that one thinks about when thinking about Duke is directly attributable to Julian Abel. So when you look at Duke, you look at the buildings, you're also looking at the man behind those designs, and that's Julian Abel.